space when you walked into the chamber and you saw Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. Um, it was priceless. You feigned sh Not bad, not bad. At, at seeing her. But during your response to her heckling of you, you used the word illegal when talking about the man who allegedly killed um, uh, Lake and Riley. An undocumented person. It's kind of gross. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's gonna get weird. It's a weird message. Shouldn't have used illegal, I should have, it's undocumented. So you, you regret using that word? Yes. Just when I think you've said the stupidest thing ever, you keep talking. Okay, well, look, the first time I went over, I sat with them and I sat with a work cap and I said, look, don't make the mistake America made. You want to play hardball? I'm game. America made a mistake. We went after bin Laden until we got him. But we shouldn't have gone into Ukraine. I mean, we, should, we, we should, shouldn't have gone into um, the, the whole thing in Iraq and Afghanistan. Wasn't you want to play hardball? I'm game. Necessary. It wasn't necessary. It just caused more problems in the race than it's going to cure. Whaley has landed several of those inside locusts. <laughs> Charles Blow of the New York Times, and I'm quoting, as bad as Mr. Trump's... Do you speak any English? ...and him putting a travel ban on five Muslim countries, he wasn't overseeing and actively arming a genocide. Those are tough words. What's your response... What are you saying? ...to that widely shared sentiment? Nope. <laughs> widely shared. You guys make judgments you know, you're not capable of making. It's not true. You're saying things you do not know what you're talking about. No one said that. Who said that? Come on, man.